Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. Today we're doing some corn harvesting. Yeah, we gotta get some corn harvesting done and some baling. Yeah, we gotta get that straw baled up, and hopefully before uh, winter hits, that alfalfa will be ready one more time, and then we are going to uh, get that done up into some hay bales for us. And if not, we have some hay around the house that can get mowed up and made into hay bales just so we can get a couple head of cattle in these pens and start getting those uh, weeds ate up because I'm tired of looking at them. But I am, you know, currently uh, not really paying too much attention because I, I, I kind of want to just get. Actually, I don't even want to start this harvest. This is going to take a while, but. For the sake of it, let's get to going, guys. It's time to go harvest some corn. Now, I am kind of fearful. Okay, are we going to be able to... Okay, it runs. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, it is running just fine. Okay, I was really fearful... Wow, this stuff is really dry. There was not much dew out this morning, so I didn't expect to have too much problems. Yeah. Okay, this is perfect. Making one heck of a dust storm, though. Um, I, did, I didn't expect to have too much of an issue doing this, but you never know because we're running a six meter header on the other, like for our cereal crops. So a six meter row crop, it, 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 it makes you kind of wonder. All right, so, all right, let's let's get to harvesting some corn. Yeah, yield's not good. I didn't expect it to be though. You know, I was noticing some bear spots as I was driving through this. Look at the weeds have overgrown the corn, and just corn's just not growing in spots. Like, I mean, look at that. <laughs> This could all be corn if they just sprayed. I I don't get it. I really don't get it. I, we are losing so much yield just to these stinking weeds. I, I don't know. We're definitely going to be spraying, though. I'll tell you that. Well, we don't have any helpers today. So it looks like we're going to have to wait for this load to finish unloading then we'll go get the combine set up ready to go we'll empty out the tractor because i already moved over the um auger so we should be good there yeah it things are moving along quite quite smoothly today i'm surprised and we still have to go bail and then pick up all the bales and and plow. Huh. And yeah, we got a lot of work yet to do. It's all right, though. We'll worry about harvesting now and uh, get everything else done later. Well, we are full, and here comes the worst part about not having any help. I have to walk back and grab the, uh, the tractor. I could take the combine down there, but it, 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 I'm pretty sure it'll be faster for me to run down here and grab the tractor. Get it started and drive it up here because that combine is slow. Your Lanta is it slow? Goodness gracious, these weeds are horrendous. They're so bad. I should have I should have just had the co-op come out with their big sprayer and spray this thing first thing. But I don't. I feel like it. I feel like it wouldn't have made a difference. Would not have made a difference at all, probably. I really need to up my guessing game. Because, uh, this running back to the uh, tractor all the time is getting, uh, it's giving me a lot of cardio. I'll say that. But, I, I, I'm too fat for this. Whew. I, I need to hire some help. Well, I guess it is time to make another run over to the grain bin site because, well, that's already full. 
And this day is going by pretty quickly. I, okay, come on, let's go. Let's go, old buddy. All right, come on. There we go. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where this is going to lead. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a fairly decent amount of corn. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to start looking for a uh, grain truck. That way I can start hauling this grain off to be sold. And I don't have to uh, use the tractor. Because I'll be honest, it's, it's not going to be fun doing this in the tractor. Yeah, it's not going to be fun at all. And with that, our corn harvest is over. Now, we need to go and make sure that we get all this corn put up. And then, before we start putting up the corn, we're going to go start the old white. And make sure that it gets warmed up. And then we're going to start bailing up all of these uh, straw bales. Because we're going to need them for feed. Because here before too long, we're going to need to get some cattle. That way we can at least have something to do this winter. Huh. What kind of cattle should we get? Should we get black Angus? Like, what, what, what kind of cattle should we get for the feedlot? Uh, that's quite wonderful. We ended up with 74,000 liters of corn. How many liters? In, in roughly 70... 73.4 of wheat. Nice. I will... I will happily take that. All right, now to get you put away and to go make bales. Yeah, um, I think we're going to go talk to uh, somebody over at the shop and see if we can get a little stacker. I guess you could call it. It grabs three of the bales, puts them on top of each other, and it'll just make my life a little bit easier when it comes to grabbing the bales and moving the bales around. Now... We still need to get the bales made, so we won't worry about it for right now, but I will give them a holler and see if they can get that brought over because, well, that's going to save us a, a lot of time when it comes time to uh, pick up the bales. All right, let's go bailing. This tractor may be old, all right, but I don't know what it is about it, but I love the view from sitting inside here. I love it. I love this old tractor. It is probably one of my favorite ones on the farm so far. And, well, oh, hey, that bale dropped at the perfect place so I could actually get around it. I got lucky. But no, I, I, I absolutely love the feel of being inside the cab of this tractor. I, I love it. I don't know. What do you guys think? That really did not take us too long. Um, it wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm hungry since we, we skipped lunch, but is what it is. Um, I was able to get a hold of the guys at the shop and they did send over a AccuStack. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll, I'll show you here in a second. You can kind of see it over there by the Steiger. It is a little deal that kicks out from the side of the tractor. But to go over there, pick up a bale, grab the next one, grab the next one, and then it'll make a stack of three. And then you can drive around and put all of your bales together in the roughly the same area and save yourself some time for collecting your bales. And well, I'm, I'm all right with saving some time. Now I need to go figure out what tractor we're going to use for that. You know, Ooh, I think I see it right there. Oh yeah. It's, it's 73 out. Yeah. Open cab it is. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Now if you guys watch... Soon, oh, if I can actually get the bale in there. Guess I'm a little too far away. Come on. Let's, let, we're trying to show people how this works, okay? Come on. Don't fail me now. There we go. Keep pushing. See, it'll drop down. Those arms will come. Pick up the bottom bale. And now the bales are supported on all sides. It goes and holds up to three bales, which is then you can drive to wherever you feel like driving to. And then you can easily just go, I believe it's this button. Maybe this button. There we go. And then 
You want to make sure that you're going to drive away straight. Then, dink. Hit that button again. Hit it for a third time. Close up the back gate, which is right here. It just, it, it stops the bales from just automatically sliding out every time. And, uh, yeah. Now you have a stack of bales they can go pick up and load onto your trailer. Now to do that 10 more times, because I think we made like 33 bales or something like that. I can honestly say that was, that was worse than what I thought it was going to be. But now comes the easy part. Going, hooking up the trailer to the pickup. Bringing out the... Uh, Bringing out the loader and the pickup and the trailer and getting all these bales moved. Why can't I think of the name? The telehandler. There we go. English 4B. You should, you, tr you should try it. Oh, this is definitely the best part about having a flatbed trailer. I get to save myself trips. It's kind of nice. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's go get those legs put up. All right. They are up. Now we should be good to start loading up bales. Let's see. Uh, let's see how quickly we can get these loaded. That was really easy compared to the last time that we had to stack bales and move bales. Even though it was kind of a pain in the butt getting it lined up and getting them into the stacks. This was definitely easier in the long run. Now, I think we're gonna keep this load of bales. So I'm gonna go run this over to the house, get this unloaded, and then we're gonna go, actually, no, we're just gonna go sell this load. And then we'll keep the five stacks that we have down there at the bottom of the field. So that way we don't have to make two trips down there with our telehandler. Now, I need to go figure out where to sell these bales, get these sold off, and then we can call it a day. Well, at least for the filming aspect, we could call it a day. We still got to get those bales up here because next time we're definitely going to be working in the fields. And we're going to be we're going to be in the Steiger. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. I'm not going to lie. Well, that is one half of the bales sold. I was Roughly seven grand. Yeah, because we still got the penalty. Um, let's. Oh, we should probably expect another seven grand from these. Eh, really? You you need to leave too. Thank you. Um, so next time we might be back here picking up some cattle. I don't know. Depends on what you guys vote. And yeah. No, uh, next time we should be mowing some hay, plowing up some land over or plowing up our fields. Um, and then taking care of the fields, getting them limed. And if there's anything to plant that we want to plant, we'll, we'll plant. But I, I wouldn't expect that. But uh, no, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. With that, I'm going to go play with some bales. Later.